Look at that. Calf is actually getting aggressive trying to get after mom and get some tit. I love seeing that. That is good. That is good. I gotta go take her some water, but dang it. That is good. Oh, yes. I will say, as of right now, if I was to make a judgment call right now, would I send them both back up to the ranch and uh, uh, let them be a pair? Probably not. But if I would have seen the, if I would have seen this the whole time, like maybe a couple days after she had the calf, then yeah, I would have no problem sending her back up to the ranch. I'm gonna go do work. You gotta calm down though, man. Hang on, bud. I'm gonna have to rearrange you. This dude is ready to run. He's antsy. He wants to get out and do things. Don't you peanut. The cattle are feeling good. It's probably pushing. God dang, it's probably pushing dang near 40 something. Maybe a little warmer. <laughs> what are you hollering at over here? Huh? Why are you getting lippy? You feeling good? You look like you're feeling good. Should we go check on some heifers? Good morning, Carl's. How are we? Where's 41? There you are. Those two are good moms. I like that. Me and the dog just walked up there and the dog walked by that 906 calf and uh, uh, mom come out of nowhere kind of bothering for it. So those are going to be good moms. I like seeing that. You peeing? Yep, you's peeing. Hey, you're not supposed to eat that. It's got rumensin in it. It'll give you a heart attack. Well, what are you doing over there? You think you get special service? Peanut, should we see how cowboy we are and get this guy put back in here? Come on. There you go, dummy. Stay in there. Well, we got this yard knocked out. I think we'll, uh, we'll go get loaded back up here. And Got to throw three small square bales on because we had a guy deliver 38 head here this morning. Walk in some barns. Got my man Coulter over there helping me. You want to be my friend? Huh? You want to be my friend? What's up, dudes? Play nice, rookie. Is this normal? Do I taste good? You, there going, there's no milk coming out. you slobbered on me. I'm gonna grab you by the tongue. I'm gonna grab you by the tongue. You're still following me. I don't think he's gonna let you forget it. You're still following me. I'll make you forget me. And people say that we hurt the cows. Dude, just stay there, alright? That's what I'm saying. He's gonna be a problem. Hmm. Oh, you want to be my friend now, too? Hey, look, I made another friend. You want to be on, you want to be on YouTube? You want to be on YouTube? Oh, goodness. You want to be on YouTube? Come here, we'll be on YouTube together. We'll show PETA that we don't hurt animals. We got to keep you alive so we can eat you later. <laughs> Redder is better. Hey, hey, don't you guys know there's still social distancing? I appreciate it. Thank you. Keep your six feet. Keep it out. We might not die when we work these things. Perhaps. That is always the goal. Look at that, guys. CNL fixed it for us. How awesome is that? Woohoo! Oh, I'm gonna take it off. 
Thanks, buddy. Thanks for being awesome, dude. What do you think? Should we go home? Kids, you behave now. Stay out of trouble. Listen to your mothers. Fuck. Bull. so dang hungry. You got all that corn stock to eat. Goodness, girls. I thought I had you trained better than this. Look who joined the party. There's 924. Girls, if you want food, I need you to part. You know, like what Moses did with the Red Sea. Part. I feed it them. I feed it them. Enjoy it, girls. You you, you, you made it hard. You made it more difficult than it needed to be. Oh, hey, did you get grounded? Ah, uh, don't worry, it used to happen to me a lot, too. You hanging in there? Well, everybody's wrapping up for the day, but my Sunday Fun Day project... Putting new lug bolts or new lug studs, whatever you want to call them, on that tire. There was one missing over there, needed to be replaced, so I got that one. I knocked another one out just to look at them. And I think we need a whole new set for that side because it's not good. But um, get this thing jacked up here and, and uh, start taking things off. with it the thing I don't feel comfortable with was uh, a lot of these old ones see how they got a little weld mark on them right here it makes me wonder if when I knocked them out if I didn't put a fractured crack in that uh, in that hub and we're gonna go home Sunday Monday is over All right, P, let's go do some cowboy shit. Well, let's do some feed yard shit. Well, good morning, YouTubes, or good mid-afternoon-ish morning, I think, maybe. I'm not sure what time it is, but yesterday I forgot you guys. And yesterday's project was bank around these tanks. Now, for some reason, when they put these in, they didn't, um, they didn't put concrete anywhere around them. So, so me and one of the other guys, we sat here, I sat in the skid steer, dug all the slop out of them. He hauled in a bunch of dry and wet mix and uh, we got them to pack down really good. The cattle helped pack them down really good. These things look a heck of a lot better. Pete, that stuff ain't for you, that's cow chow, man. Get out of the cow chow. I haven't seen this kiddo for a couple days. 4962, I'm not sure what happened here, but that's not good. God dang it, kiddo, you have had a hard life. Are you are you practicing your feed bunk skills? Huh? Are you practicing your feed bunk skills? You got a little ways to go yet. 89, I swear to God, you got twins in there. You're fat. Goodness, dude. 
It's like the fourth time today. It's a lot of pee. Hey, buddy. You get up. You get up. Come on. You get up. Come on. Thanks, dude. So today, the guy running the payloader there, Mr. Cowboy Matt, we decided to trade so he could give his horses a little break. He had one kind of come up lame and uh, yeah, didn't want to use his other one for a fourth day in a row. So decided to give him a day off. He's up here piling fences though. See how rotten these pins look? We like to take that stuff and pile our fence lines here. So this is the last pin. That's pretty much a Tuesday. Round two of putting cattle away. Windy days and gates, baby. Windy days and gates. Come on. It's okay, Tanner. I did it earlier in 126. I'm not the feed truck. Just stay out there and graze. Meet America, Wyoming cows. Hell. We're going to cowboy the shit out of them. Horses, cowboys, pickups, trailers. Yep. And uh, rawhide. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Over here, Rue. Lay down. Lay down. Shit. There it went that way, didn't they? Come on, girl. Yeah. Come on, girls. Please, thank you. Lay down. Lay down. This went way more getter than I thought it was going to. <laughs> Should have gave him more respect than that, girls. Should have known you're Wyoming cows. This is how it's done up there. Stop fighting, you son of a bitch. Say we probably should have more of our stops out. Hey, come here. Got 12. Got to blood test all our bulls before we get them sent off. I'm doing on their own. Bulls are so much fun. Come on, dude. supposed to be out one truck here we got four more coming I think me and old mechanic are gonna tag team it 
He's got the uh, he's got the hoe. I got the skiddy. Try to clean out one of our driveways here, or our crossways, I guess, to get back to the feed alley. It always does this every year. This is the worst I've seen it, but this is it gets bad. It gets bad. So trying to get her done. Say hi, Nick. <laughs> but we got it now. If it can just dry out. That looks so much better. So much better. So much more gooder. That's the wrong end, Joe. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's what's back there, Chip. <laughs>